Hello, how's it going people YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to EA Sports PGA Tour and another career mode video. I've actually just noticed that my controller's getting low in battery, so I'm going to try and get this out before it conks out so I can get it recharged. And because I don't like playing golf with the cable plugged in. So we're at the Taboran Championship. We decided to play this because we played terrible last week. In fact, we missed the cut last week and the week before. So it's not been a good run of form. We are currently still at 90 in the AI. So let us continue with the Taboran Championship. I think we are, we made the cut. We did make the cut. We changed golf bags. I was actually playing online with uh, the Apex Hound recently. So bag one. Sung GM, uh, that's who we're playing against, and the weather, what was the wind? The wind was 69 miles per hour. Let's go, let's get started. EA Sports and the PGA Tour put the are up. proud to present it? the season-long race Spare. for the FedEx Cup. So From Pebble Beach, Beach golf links on the California right, we're five under par, so we're, we're three under par today, but we're two under the, uh, uh, the cut line. I think the cut line was even, I believe. The 18th green. Frank is by my side, out on the course. So big news today, um, PGA Tour, DT World Tour and Web Golf have merged together. Now what that means, I think they're still going to be out independent, but they're going to the be working as a unit, I believe. At the par three fifth, really don't know much in the way of details. Still, really, uh, it actually was just announced a couple of hours back. So here we go. Um, five holes to play. Wind is sixty nine miles per hour. One eight five to the one nine two to the pin. Wind's behind, so oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so I go downhill as well. It was neat. I, I don't think that's going to be enough. Do you know what? I'm going to play it here and maybe I'll let it drift in a little bit. I'll let it roll. That actually would have been more than enough club. I didn't think it would be as long as that. And that misses the green left, but he Point should to land in that front part and then a feed the down wedge. to the hole, perhaps. But some GM. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it's going to like entail. I think we have golf. I've got too much money behind them, and I think taking them to, to court over these things, I, I don't think, I think the PGA Tour knew that they were never going to win, basically. All right, you take those all day long. Um, On the green, chance for birdie coming up. You know, up. Uh, I think they just got out of dodge. Now, what's the, uh, it's quite good, if, if you're ever off the green, and you, you want to know what the kind of slope is, you can actually look at the putt. Now you can see where we're standing, there's the bunker, and there's the dip, and then it goes down, so it's a gradual, it does, it does, it does go downhill basically. Um, so, I think we play the, I think we play the pitch. I think the pitch shot, maybe try and land it here and let it just roll down. Well, that's good. I actually intentionally wanted it a little bit further back, but that worked. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. See, I played the uh, Apex and did a, a, a public lobby. I actually finished third. Guys, I shot 12 under Apex with 15 under. And I think the guy that won shot something crazy. Like, 18 under or something. Now what we got here, 0.5 below, uphill. I think we hit it 
left edge. And I've got yeah, a big bin bit, and it's just shining right in the middle yeah. of the screen, right at the hole. We'll stay at 500. And it's Lundjet, tapping in. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. Oh, excuse me. I was going to get my bike today, but I twisted my knee. Just a, I would say twisted. It's a very slight, small twist. Tremendous par five here, the sixth hole. I finished my walk, and I was walking home. Cove on the right. I don't know if actually that far to walk. It's about three, four when minute walk that home. That you're on for a start, Rich, um, you're and yards I just, above, I was so getting round at a corner, and there's a... So I look at that first bunker. 270, really only I must have twisted, yards, slight, the fairway twisted my knee. The right. So even a three wood for some of the longer so, just I don't know, I probably could go out of the bait. That's a nice night, but that's quite nice to just cycle and get back to the way between my, I mean, you can my hair, but I'm also five and two. I'm not really too bothered. I think we just play this down. I don't, no, I don't think we power drive it, actually. I think we just had a normal. Just a little bit that's to the starting a little right. That's going to need to hold on. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Wow, had some hope for just a second there. Thought maybe okay. it would hang up and stay dry. Um, but too bad that one trickles into the water. Okay, uh, that's that's interesting. I didn't think we must have had a seaweed here. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Damn. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Oh dear. <clears throat> Set up in the fairway, 200 yards from here. I'm struggle on this hole now. A classic course though, Pebble Beach. We've already played it uh, this season. That, yeah, the sun's right between the blinds of my window and it's right, I All mean, right, right in the middle. good shot from there, home and two on the par five. And I did it on the green, wasn't able to get it to stop from that far away, just on the fringe, and an outside chance of making an eagle here. I think we just hit the seven iron here, actually. We had our overpower it a little bit. Well, maybe just a sip. Okay, maybe not overpower it. Maybe just hit it normal. Well, that one didn't work <sighs> out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Yeah, as you can see, that's all downhill. So, I actually, be careful. With this this is a delicate little chip, I think. If any, we need to land it in that fringe. Let it trickle down. That's not too bad. It does run a little bit beyond, but well, obviously that's not his best. But it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Sanjay, yeah, he's going to par. I thought he was going to chip there for a second, but greens it. That's why you leave the wedge in the bag. Eagle, roll right there, right to the edge of the fringe. It's into the bottom of the cup for an eagle. Now it says level, but I mean, do we really trust? Yeah, it looks fairly consistent. I mean, yeah. Nice oh, the only saving grace there was a half five. Hit into the water, it's not really stay right where he is. majorly troublesome, but you get the part. Frank, there are certain spots in sport that kind of steal your breath. Starters get it to yeah, Kentucky Derby, hole. home plate at Fenway Park, maybe top of the hill if you ski at Kitzbühel, seventh tee at Pebble Beach absolutely is one of those special places just over 100 yards rich uh, it, it's the ultimate um i don't know piece of cake where, you, where that's what it looks like but then you try and taste it and you want a little more 
and then you realize you've missed Ooh. Beckenhoff more than you can shoot. Almost jars it. I mean, Jeez. that was almost LeBron James, a slam dunk and dunk. full flight, but what a shot. Almost. I was actually I was looking at the Twitch to see if there's somebody I could watch in the background, but yeah, I missed that. Right, 69. 103 to the pin, there's no way we need to hit that. It's under hit it, but that's going to be okay. It aims a little bit not as good, but at least I make a little part 8 foot, 10 inches. Solid throughout the round, we'll win the deck. And it generates some momentum here at the below. seventh hole. This for birdie. It's downhill as well. It's probably like... I would say it's like... A couple inches. I actually got a tricky part because it tends to bring more break into it. So... Could be tricky. Oh, just a little bit too much. <laughs> good, good effort, Lou. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Yep, well done. Really? That's in for par here at seven. So far with a dead he'll remain right where he is. Let's see if he can knock this. Sunday is sure he's going to make another uh, above the here. Top of his eagle. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Don't get me wrong, it's it's not the easiest uh, uh putt spin I've had a little bit of break on it. So. Here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. We head now to the 416 yard eighth hole, one of the premier par fours in golf. Fairway yeah, that's one that it, you want to get as close to this edge as possible. Over the cliffs and a yawning chasm below. Sanjay. He's probably hit like a three. I think we're going to hit a, a three wood. Have I got the three wood? Is that two wood I've got? There's one of the bags I've got a, like a two hybrid. Which is quite versatile actually. Right, so it's, so it's uphill. Um, Do we hit the three wood? I just swung that. No, oh, we could probably hit it full actually. Well that will do just fine. Maybe. It's a tough one to hit, to be honest. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Beautiful tee Downhill. shot, great position looking at this green, and there are no easy options here. You've got bunkers up the left, bunkers on the right. You have balls that are going to find their way into the penalty area. Requires precision execution. Come on. Oh, be good. Oh, be, 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 be good. Bounce up. Oh, I wasn't far away from being good. That's Got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Aggressive off the tee, ball lucky not to run out of fairway and into the ocean, but now sitting in an ideal spot oh, good with access to the green. Well, that's all over it. What a shot! That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green good regulation the bunker, side birdie chance. This is tricky, to be honest. Yeah, this is this is a pick shot all day, every day, to be honest. Oh, 
Comes out a little bit funny, but... Mm, that is a good-looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. He drains it. Okay, right on line. Wow, That's okay. a birdie here at the eighth. Missed that bug at the last move hole. Now to five under par. Point two above, slightly downhill. It's actually not that much. It's probably just a hit. Okay, good roll there. It is a par oh, here it's kind at of, the eighth. Kind of boring golf at the lead. moment. But right just straight pars, but. You one hole to play. To stare off at the Pacific Ocean. It's right there. But you'd also better have your focus on what is one of the more challenging par fours in the game. Yeah, this stretch, eight, nine, ten. Uh, just not, not just concentration, but, but really great shots. Uh, the tee shot here has to be struck absolutely flush down that left side. And the reason why be, uh, close is this fairway, just off. everything moves to the right. So if you sort of pitch it in the middle of the fairway or the, or the right-hand side of the fairway, it's going to go in the rough and leave you a really difficult second shot. So a great drive here is reward. So Jay's thinking about it. Ah, drink of water. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. We may actually hit the, the draw here. I've been, I say perfecting the uh, short shaping in this game. I'm going to bring it close to that uh, tower. Just to hold it up. This could be quite nervy for that camera man. About to get a ball in the in the face. Oh, getting a lot of vibration there. Yeah, shot shaping's I, I I really do like it. I think they've I think I've done it really good. Uh, that's right in the pot. Once you, it Watch seems really awkward at first, but once you get it, that's gonna come on once you get the basic the mechanics, wow. it's actually really, really good. Well done. And it's good because you can actually miss hit it. From the fairway. Let's yeah, we have me down there. Well, when you find your ball in the fairway at the ninth, you hit a great tee shot, one of the most difficult fairways to hit Sounds on the difficult. entire golf course. Right but now corner. it opens up the Ooh. opportunity to hit a great second. Shouldn't have too bad a shot there. Well, chip. had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, uh, you've got 118. What might have been. From the fairway, Sorry up, this is second. The, the wind is behind as well. Yards to the front. 118 to the 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 here. wind is helping from behind so you can take a little less club come on baby gap wedge coming oh, in with just fun. a bit too much heat uh, gonna end up just too long. beyond the flag and uh, safely on deck that's the main thing but from that distance really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker like a four or five footer so this first putt's going to have to be good I think having the player, like a basic bag spec is really good because it, it makes it that little bit more tricky to play. Sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three foot circle around the hole. That was a really right. nice shot. Downhill just a couple inches. Um, point seven above. I'm just going to go with the four here and just assume it's hard to see. It looks, it looks pretty basic. Uh, it was a little bit more I absolutely bombed that 1.6 over swing that's not good he has a 12 footer here alright it's got to go yeah we've absolutely bombed that by 1.5 by 1 out Get in. Oh, confidence. Kind of you the 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 roll by the right hole, but that's like five straight pars. I mean, not pretty, but it's there's no bogeys. So he'll finish that off for his par. And he'll remain at three under.
What do we find? Ooh, eight under. Featured golfer, some good so, and some favorable scoring conditions the, here the on sim this basically Saturday, absolutely gets us out of jail there. They're still well we were back, level part. I think the goal really is to try and shoot back, back right rounds, Rich. Uh, if anything better than that, maybe so, a lot of people say that the stumble, you can't can, control that. Can do you at least get out of the That's well the way it is. So that's just about can do it. So we're all of us at EA Sports. So we're at eight under par. We're only, we're only six behind. On going the into the final round. To the Masters. Chesson Hadley. I've never heard of him. It's an unknown for me. Right, let's... Uh, I'm just going to the final round. So this is going to be the last tournament before the uh, PGA Championship, the next major. Right, let's see who we're we playing against. Maybe some G Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler. So we are current score we're five under, so we're actually three. Oh my! Woo! Right, we're three over par. Maybe it's because it's fourteen to twenty mile per hour winds. Okay, this is going to be interesting. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Pebble Beach Golf Links just south of Monterey. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, picture. Oh, did I get that picture in time? I don't know. Tiburon Championship. What right, a it's going to be interesting. This has been strong, so strong wind. Everything you want in the golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon. It's going to be the interesting. is Andrew Putnam. He's currently at 16. This is a really good par 5, actually. I, I think this is one of the best par 5. golfer playing out the string, like, trying to finish end golf. this tournament. It's just so notes. difficult. So we'll pick up the, the green. on the tee. At the par 5 14. Yeah, not not a good simulation. Right, we're probably we are gonna aim, we're gonna hit a fade. Kinda of been not like doing a lot of Do you know <clears throat> it's actually quite a good thing. But I've I've got my headphones on, I can hear that wind. But you can really hear that it's strong. I'm on the. I'm the. Uh, I think it's hard to find where you need to be in the plane. I always seem to get it wrong. I'm fine. That. I'm just going to have to guesstimate. That's bending that a lot. Right, and that could be trouble. Yeah, too much. We, we cut too much off. Uh, Long drive, but a bad line. A wicked. Great idea. Yeah, you can hear the the waves crashing in the the shore. Scott is over that. I was going to say he's over that tree, but he's actually hit it. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Oh. He's not bad. I think he'll that actually have a. He could get a long cut to that. going to wind up in the bunker. Getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. Oh, well, he's weighed up. That's not a bad shot from there. That's what he wanted to do after the tee shot. Puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. Yeah. Oh, 68, 74% rough. It's, she's a she's chunky. She's a chunky one. I think we'd just way up. If, if we meet the front of the green, so be it. We possibly actually could make the green. No, don't. 
Yeah, that's that's just what I want. Safely back into the I don't want to be in the green because that really, I, 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 I think I actually result. don't think you would be able to put that. If I'm honest. Chef what? Still has a he's hit that long, that's quite a difficult shot. Cause you're uphill so it affects the the shot you, you need to hit. I think we hit a I think we hit a spinner here. Maybe just take a tiny bit off it. Not much. Because we're going uphill. Not bad, it runs on a little bit though. Should have took another couple of yards off it. Sometimes you do that with that shot and you end up you hit it short, which is so annoying. Well, this hole's been quite mean, but once again, a beautiful use of the short game to perhaps get away with a par. Right. Level Y, it's 2.2 below, so again, it just looks as if it's quite even. No, no, not that's not, not enough. enough. And he just hasn't been able to make much happen here. I feel we've played a little bit better than the last couple of weeks, but well, I think we're still missing some putts, so that's the only thing. And he'll remain at six under par. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par, and he'll stay right where he is. Here at the fifteenth, a good drive. So he between right off, uh, probably a bad drive would quite be a long on time. 17 mile drive as, as scenic as it is uh, it's not where you want to be is it yeah, it's, it's out of bounds off. well you can't afford to go right you can't afford to pay for that real estate on the right either so uh, uh, yeah anything uh, down should. there um, i think we go power drive here yeah. and i think we can uh, go for sort of five four bunkers oh. really down the left side Press but really the it's the yeah. i think we go for yeah we should be able to carry that bunker Probably if they aim at a tree because the wind is strong. Oh, don't get up straight in the bunker. <gasps> and that one oh, maybe a little way where it bounds off the fairway and right into the thick rough. Scheffler. I think he had a. I must have had three with that. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 105 yards to the front, 112 to the hole. Player has to contend with this left to right breeze. Gap wedge coming in with just a bit too much heat, gonna end up just beyond the flag. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. The uh, is not a friendly one, but still a chance not, not to too get bad, on two with a good shot here. How the wind's going to go affect that thing? Oh, it could be good. Oh. That's a decent well, shot a from there. Tee shot. A little unfortunate to settle down on that rock, but showing some great skills and perhaps. Yeah, you can watch Sheffer's uh, putt here, get a really good uh, line. He's went just a little bit outside right cut. Ooh. It's turned out a little bit, but not much. Too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. A five footer I think down we for go, birdie. I think we go right edge. Yeah, easy. Uh, yes, never in doubt. Well, we get about the 600 here at 15. And that's going to move him 
to six under par. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain right where he is. Right. On to 16. Part four, 16th hole, Frank. What's the right play off the tee? Yeah, this is quite a tricky one, one actually. Start, Rich. It's a long iron. Depending on the wind, uh, you know, wood. there could be a yeah, possibility of actually driving this green. That's not really implied. 205 yards gets, uh, gets over. Where's the wind that's coming the there? It looks as if it's... Closely up the right there, those two bunkers. You just see is a that in there? Yeah, it looks as if it's coming. Oh, yeah, it's in there. So anything slightly left of that... I think we're actually at the driver here. Yards. That is prime. Wait until that wind. Should be perfect. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Jeff was and the fringe. So the golf ball That's ends cut. up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. Second shot coming up. It's going to be a difficult we say uh, hello shot, Archer, because Iona you're right Steven. into the wind. 121 yards is the number we're looking at. Pin on the right hand side, so really looking for to see what in here that. if he can. Oh, that's a weird shot. Yeah. I think the eye struggles a bit in the wind. Disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Perfect spot to play this second, middle of the fairway. I'm going to play a knockdown, but I'm actually going to waft it up, which sounds kind of weird, but. Oh, needs to get down. Yeah, maybe we didn't really need to. Maybe we don't need to sort of hit as much as that. Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Right, probably could actually play the blast well. here. Good shot. Mm, well. I think this shot is always a little bit difficult. It's not bad. I sometimes like to, I mean, the pick yeah, shot is good, but I do like to play the, the blast. It's very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand, and that race is right on by. 12 feet still know the, the line a little bit. 1.8. Oh, I didn't see it. No. Ah, oh, didn't miss very much. Oh, it's a bogey though. Shepard okay. didn't want to part and get away. It is a par here at 16. Yep, and he'll stay bogey. at 700. Okay, well, in for a bogey at 16. And he'll fall back to five under. Well, here we are, 17th hole, and this is where you can make your mark on the sport. Frank, so much history at this par three. It's just a great hole too, Rich. You know, that hourglass-shaped green on the angle. But, but you're right when you talk about history. You go back to 1972, and this hole played into the breeze. It was a one-iron to Jack Nicklaus. Said one of the greatest shots he ever hit. Actually hit the flag stick, nearly went in. And, of course, one of my favorites is 1982. Tom Watson had missed Tom the screen Watson. to the left, and the late Bruce Edwards was his caddy. And, that one's uh, right into our face. looking for options because they're in Which such is, a perilous situation. I mean, in a long hole, it, it kind of benefits. And Watson said, well, the shot's going to come down a little bit more. If you look really closely at the footage, it's probably stopped the game. But... starts to run across the green, he's pointing his finger back at Bruce and saying, I told you so. And then just a few years ago, too, Gary Woodland hit a chip it on this green and made three. 
Come on, drive at the hole. And this that could be, oh, it's a bit long. Good. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, safely aboard. Just tucking a low, a low six iron, I think. A look here for birdie at 17. And I'd say this one has a little bit of right to left in it, though I think all in all, not a lot, up or down. Schiffler. Ooh, it's a hang up. Oh, it's a hang up. A bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. Push next above, slightly downhill. Not going to mess about. Oh, and uh, uh, I tell you one thing. When, 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 I mean, the putting when you don't have the 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 grid zone, it, it is a little bit difficult. But you just need to kind of have faith. Yeah, that's good putt. It is in for par oh. here at seventeen. Should have got that really. He'll stay right where he is. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. Well, you're not just playing the 18th hole at Pebble Beach, are you? You're taking a moment to soak it all in. Stand on that tee box, look out at the Pacific Ocean, think about what's happened here, who's played this hole, who's made history here. And then you let it rip. Drive. It's actually it's it, it's it's quite an intimidating tee well, shot, but it's not actually as bad any better than that. as what that it potentially could be. Shot right there. You can probably go. Well, power drive. Let's just go for it. Oof. Oh, that is way right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cutting up quite a bit, I'm not going to lie. No I'm not going to lie. This one in that rough. Well, Frank, it is a pleasant walk under any circumstances. But how right, come on, what can we do here? Oh. Two here at the 18th at Pebble Beach. Oh. It's a lot better than picking one out of the Pacific Ocean, Rich. That was just a great shot. And finally, you can exhale. It, the job is nearly finished. Difficult shot. Come on, little. Brave shot from us. Oh, that's pretty good, man, from there. And then up, win. Excellent second shot here at the par five. Frank, certainly a birdie is well within range. Well, from that distance, that second shot, I mean, that's inside the PGA Tour standard, really. Two super shots, and you're right. Outside chance for three. Oh, boy, that definitely took a look. Careful, Messi. Perfectly weighted putt, nearly an eagle. Doesn't look like a lot of movement to this one. It's that's free. an eagle. That's a par five, isn't it? Almost forgot, like 0.7 above. Come on, let's try and go with this. Come on, stay up. Nah, I was going to finish all. Had a pretty good run at it. That would have been a nice uh, eagle, but couldn't quite find the line. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Alright, bumped it. 0.6 below. Left. Easy. Okay, it's a nice finish. Thanks, Andy. at 18. That's scrappy. That Two birdies. We'll finish off our round of golf. One under for the the holes we played. Um, it's a little bit better finish we yeah, had last that's week. Well played. It's a birdie at 18, and that will write an end to the round here today. So who wins? Cameron Alongside Young. Frank Navalo.
I'm Rick Flexi Turner Linder. for EA Sports. Thanks Tottenham for joining us. Tottenham was 14, Bradley 13, Zalatoris 12, with Shoffley and Hadley. Some gem there, 10 under. Yeah, 10 shots behind. So that is going to do it for the um, Taboodan Championship. Not bad, kind of. I feel like they played okay, missed a couple of shots, so we have qualified for the PGA, which is at Southern Hills Country Club. So that is going to be the next tournament, and it is also the next major, so hopefully we can play better than what we did at the Masters. But anyway, take care, and I'll catch you next time. If I always just check the FedEx Cup. So we're still fourth. Uh, what about the World Golf Ranking? 13th, we're actually dropping down. Um falling way behind the uh we're outside the top 10 now does that actually hope does that affect us i think we still qualify yeah we qualified for the us open um and we qualified for the that i think does that mean that wait did we just see i just want to check yeah so it's the top uh, top 60. Right, okay. Just wanted to check. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. Take care. Catch you next time. Bye.